with my friend Cherry. Hello. And because she's Cherry, we're doing a dish with cherries and it's a French dish called Cherry Clafotis. So we have 80 grams of sugar, 30 grams of butter, 90 grams of flour, 150 millilitres of milk, a few drops of vanilla essence, 400 grams of cherries, a sprinkling of icing sugar that comes later on and a dish which is 20 centimeters diameter which you will need to grease with some butter. First of all you'll need to de-stalk the cherries. When you've done all that you need to stone them because you don't want to have little cherry stones in your dessert. I seriously don't know if this is the best way to do it but do I go cherry? Go for it, I'll probably cut half my finger off then. <laughs> you do it quicker. Still got fingers. We're getting there. Cherry, your name's Cherry, but you do actually like cherries as well, don't you? I like you? the fruit cherries. Yeah. I cannot stand like Haribo cherries or anything cherry flavoured. I don't like you it. You don't like it cherry flavoured, but In you fact, like sweet I'm fruit. allergic to cherry aid. You're allergic to cherry aid? I know. Mm. Ironic. Do you do much cooking? Um, I cook pasta dishes, um, mainly desserts, but I've never done anything like this. No? No. What kind of desserts do you normally cook? Like cookies and cupcakes, that sort of thing. Oh, lovely. Now we're really ready to go. Yay! Yay. Grease the dish. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll grease do you it here. Your cherries do you want me to way? grease it here? Yeah, yeah. That's a very good greasing. Dust the dish with a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Put all the cherries into the dish. Yeah. No. <laughs> What's next on the agenda? Nice big mixing bowl. Right, you know we did this really clever thing earlier with all the ingredients. Oh, do you know what I forgot? Two. Ugh. <laughs> I guess I got a bit stuck on it. <laughs> This is terrible. Why would you stay? This like, is oh. really bad. No, no, don't film this. <laughs> oh God, uh, you know, I did this um, really clever thing earlier, showing the video showing you all the ingredients we need. I'm really, really sorry. You actually also need two large eggs. <laughs> Alright, have a little mixing thing out for you here. Have a little mixing thing. Cherry, you need to put the sugar into the mixing bowl and beat in two large eggs. Your hand's in the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Bow. Your hand's in the way. Don't get shell in it. Don't get shell in it. Perfect. I will rinse. <laughs> Very clean girl, Cherry. Very clean. Beat. Oh, I've never used one of these. Like that. All you have to do is press that bin. Like that. <laughs> wonderful. Wow. There you go. This is a new experience for me. <laughs> That looks perfect. Cool. You need to now beat in the 90 grams of flour. All at once? Yeah, all of it. Go for it. 150 millilitres of milk. Mm. <laughs> this sounds so wrong. And a couple of drops of vanilla essence. Keep going. Blop. How do you know when it's done? Uh, it looks smooth, I think. <laughs> Just make sure you get all the bits from the side. I think you're almost there. Just set that to one side because we need to melt the butter. 30 grams of butter, we just need to melt it. Two pink spoon. Boon! Exciting butter time. Right, Cherry, what you need to do now is add the melted butter and stir it into this batter mix. Plop, 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 plop. Oops, broke your pan. Done. Mixing right. complete. Mixing complete. Then you just simply pour it over the top of the cherries. It's going to be melty. Oh, just keep pouring. <laughs> it does look pretty already, doesn't it? Sugary batter on top of the cherries. It goes into the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 35 minutes. So, see you later, cherry. Na, 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 na. Oh, 
My goodness. It's huge. It's huge, actually. <laughs> it's stuck in the oven. Wow, wow. Looks amazing. Yeah. And now, the next thing we need to do, and we have to do all this very quickly, because you have to serve it quickly as well, is sprinkle icing sugar over the top. It looks pretty, but um, apparently it adds just the right amount of sweetness to the dish as well. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Looks like snow. Who would like some cherry clap or tea? Me. Yeah, like some? Yeah, I'd like some. Like some? <laughs> Please. So it's four, apparently. Right, here we are. Cherries for cherry. Yay! <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it does look good. That's actually really nice. It's like hot cake, but with fruit and it's really good. You should try it. Some for Helen. Mm, very good. That's really good. So cherry clavel tea. If cherries aren't in season, uh, apparently a good substitute might be blueberries or you could try pears. 